Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari. And on here, I love talking about fragrances. I love sharing my passion of fragrances with everyone. And that can be designer scents. It can be niche. It could be fragrance layering. I love it all. Right? So I come on and people give me recommendations of things that they're interested in. And I try my very best to make sure that I bring it to the channel. I do have a playlist of several different ones that I've already went over. So if you are new here, make sure you hit the playlist, let it run. Uh, maybe some of the questions that you may have, I might have already answered it. And if not, then come back, let me know something in the comments, and I'll try to make sure I put together a video for you. For all of the people who come back each and every time to watch my videos, I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to talk about Viva More. I do have a sample kit for Viva More, and it is a total of five fragrances. So we're going to go through them because I'm trying to see if there's anyone in here, any of the ones in here that I might be interested in getting. So if you want to review Viva More's uh, discovery set with me, stay tuned. Okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, it comes in a box like this. Uh, this one here, and I think there is, is a variety of ones that come, but this is, just happens to be the one that I got. And it has Tea Temptation. It has um, Tango, uh, Tagmago, Tagmago, I think it is, Midnight Mischief, uh, Ma uh, Magic Hour, and Dubai Revier, right? What I like about it is that it did come with the notes, so that's great. I can be able to tell y'all some of the notes. I won't hold you. We're going to jump right into it. I'll give you my thoughts on it. Uh, this is truly a first impression. So I'll give you my thoughts on it, and then we can see um, see what you think, right? Uh, so the very first one they have is called Tea Temptation. Let me get a good spray. You know this is new because it took a minute for it to spray. <laughs> so I haven't tried these. So far, I like it. Okay, this is fresh. This is a fresh one. Um, this is really fresh, like almost like a spring day scent. Uh, so what does it say? What is in this one? What's in Tea Temptations? It says it has bergamot, velvet la uh, leaf. It has, oh, that's what I thought. Uh, Earl Grey Tea. Uh, it does have some cardamom in it. White Musk, Mandarin Blossom, Amberette, and Vetiver. I bet you this would be amazing on a man. And I'm one of the people who firmly believe that a fragrance does not have a certain type. Like it's not a male or a female type. But there are some fragrances that do lean a little heavy towards one side. And I would say that this one would be one of those. I can see a nice, I see, I can see a guy and in my mind, I see a bearded guy. I know this sounds crazy. Uh, in a white linen suit heading out to go take a boat ride. That's what I see. That's what I see when I think of tea temptation. Yeah. I firmly believe that this will probably be amazing on a man. Now, this one here has been all the rave. Everybody is talking about this one. This one was actually sold out <laughs> when I went to look. Uh, so I really, really hope I like this one because everyone is talking about it. And I am talking about, uh, I want to say it's T, T Go, T Go Migo, T Go Migo. I want to say, I'm going to call it Tag O Migo, Tag O Migo. I could be absolutely wrong, but of course, you know, I have it written on the bottom, right? So let's spray it. Uh, I like to spray it first before I can even figure out if I like it or not. Oh, <laughs> this is good. Oh, this is good. Like it immediately like went into this beautiful, like tropicalness. Oh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay, so it is coconut water, passion fruit, mango, star, star fruit, hazelnut, dry fruits, Tahitian vanilla, amberwood, and toffee. 
Oh, I like that one. But I wonder if this is similar to a lot of fragrances I already have. That's my only worry. Like, I'm I'm such a gourmet lover that I'm scared that this would be similar to something I already have. I don't know. I gotta put this one on skin. I was trying not to put them on skin. But I have to put this one on skin. Oh, this is good. Oh, I see why it's sold out. This is really good. Oh, <laughs> I like this one. I like it a lot. Uh, so we already kind of know. I can really see myself wearing this on many occasions. So you are another one I think that I'm so I'm super fond of right now. This is good. If I had to pick one, I would pick this one. This is good. All right, so let's keep this party going. Here is the next one. It is called Midnight Mischief. Oh, I like the name. The name is uh is very very tempting, very exotic. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, this is a nighttime scent. Midnight Mischief is a nighttime scent. This is a cool night. This is sexiness in a bottle. Like this, so far, this is really good. So I got to figure out what the notes are. Uh, but yeah, this is not a daytime scent. Midnight Mischief, I think, is a nighttime scent. It's a scent that you wear on a date. Uh, a slow walk on the beach. This is about romance. Hence why they probably have mischief to it. Uh, it has orange blossom, jasmine, uh, Madagascar vanilla, rose, sandalwood, amber, and osmanthus. Mm -hmm. This is nighttime. This might be a, I say midnight mischief might be one that you have to, you might, this one might have to grow on you. This is not blind by worthy, in my opinion. So Midnight Mischief might be one that you have to get a sample of, like I just did. So I would tell you probably get the same discovery set that I got. Because um, it, it, it really wasn't that bad. And if I can find it, I'll make sure that I pin the full bottles of these. And also, if I can find the discovery set, I'll try to see if I can pin that for y'all too. But I think that uh, Midnight Mischief is one that I think you need to try first. But yes, this actually would be amazing as a nighttime scent. A uh, cozy scent uh, where, you I mean, you're looking good, you dress beautiful, you just look elegant. And this is what you have on. To me, it is pulling very heavy in the um, osmanthus, like the floral on the side of it. Um, if I had a choice, I would probably want more of the orange blossom, but that's just my preference. Uh, I think the, the, the idea of this was for it to be a nice scent and I think they did a good job. I hope y'all are hanging on in here with me. If you made it this far, put a thumbs up in the comments that lets me know that you have watched it, uh, a good portion of the video, but we're going to keep going. We got two more left. We got two more in this discovery set left love so this one here is called magic hour now i will tell you this i am actually impressed with the naming of them right um and again uh, i did not look up and see who uh is the collaborator that they're doing these scents with um which i probably should have because uh, it doesn't tell me who they collaborated with on the notes sheet so if you know in the comments List who collaborated with them, with um, Viva Moore, to come up with these scents. But Midnight Hour, oh my God, Midnight Hour is tropical. Mm, I get some pina colada. I get like a tropical drink. This is like a, yeah, this is a like a frozen tropical drink. I get some coconut. Mm, this is sexy, sexy, sexy. This is summer. This is a summer dress fragrance. Yeah, I bet you this is unisex. It can be worn by both men and women. I bet you it will pull off something completely different on a man than it will pull off on a woman. But I like this one. I don't know if I like this one as much as I like that uh, that that other one. What it was it? Tiga, Tiga Mango or something like that? I really like that one. 
I really like that one. I think that one is going to be on my next purchase list. But this, this one is kind of, um, it's giving a little run for the money. So what's the note that's in Magic Hour? You get Pina Colada. That's what I got. Pina Colada. Pina Colada. You get um, Exotic Fruit Accord. I get all of that. Uh, I'm surprised. It had fresh ginger in it. It had cinnamon. It had Guatemalan uh, cardamom. Rum Accord. I get a little booziness, not a lot. Amber and moss. I don't get that, but I do get that pina colada and that fruity note. So if you're looking for one that is on the fruitier end of a scent with a little booziness, because I don't get it like the rum accord, I would think that it would be heavier, but it's not that heavy. Just a little booziness, but mostly pina colada, mostly like a frozen drink, a frozen daiquiri, a frozen like tropical drink that you would get. Like say if you were going uh, to Jamaica or something. That's this one. Magic Hour. I like Magic Hour. All right. This is our last one. And then I'm going to rank them. Right. I'm going to rank them according to my list. Uh, and you might rank them differently. If you would rank them differently, you know, I, I would love for you to tell me about it in the comments of how you would rank them. But I'm going to tell you right after I smell this one here, how would I rank them? And this one here is called Dubai Riviera. A Riviera. A Rivery. Reverie, I think it might be. I don't know. <laughs> I have it listed on the bottom. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not really seeing it clearly. So I apologize if I am butchering these names. But this is another male scent to me. This, I bet you, smells great on a man. I get, I'm getting spiciness, like um, woodiness. I'm thinking this one probably has a lot of wood, a lot of spices, a lot of cinnamon, cardamom uh wood notes yeah i think this would be great on male chemistry so what is the notes in this one here uh it has um clementine i didn't get clementine i didn't get lychee i didn't get the black currant but i did get the ginger so that's probably where that spiciness was coming from i did not get a vanilla note but i did get cedar wood so that was the woodiness the veter the vetiver, the amber, and the white must. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't get um no, I didn't I didn't get the beginning. I didn't get the clementine, the lychee, or the uh black currant. But I do get the heart, and that heart of it is the ginger note. So that's where I was getting a lot of spiciness from it. And the woodiness is the cedar wood. So I was right in my understanding, but I bet you this is amazing on a man. Um, I think you have to be a very strong woman to wear the Dubai one. Not saying that it can be worn, but I think that you have to be, yeah, I think that men will pull this one off a whole lot better. All right. Now it's time for my ranking. If you watch the whole video, you probably already know <laughs> what my number one is. My number one, uh, would be the, uh, Tango Mango. Tango Mango. That's that that's that one that was gourmand. Ooh. This is probably my next purchase. Then my next one would be Magic Hour. I love the pina colada uh frozen drink aspect of this one. Um Midnight Mischief. I think on and I have it at ranked three. Because I think that this would be a fragrance that you would only probably be able to pull off like in cold weather or late at night. I think it's great, but I don't think that it's a every is an all day scent. I think that you only can wear that one probably late at night. And then uh Dubai, I think it's because it's for me, it's ranked for because I think that a man would smell amazing in this thing. Because I did not get the Clementine, I did not get the black currant or the lychee that was supposed to be in the opening, but I got a lot of the ginger notes of it i feel like on male chemistry this would be amazing and then just because there's five and then somebody has to be the last right <laughs> then tea temptation and i think tea temptation for me um let me go back and look at it 
I think this was another one that will pull off great on a man. But Tea Temptation, even looking at the notes, for me, did not wow me. It didn't wow me. Um, I think it would smell great on male chemistry, but it, it didn't wow me. If I had to choose, like, say, one for my husband, I don't know if I would go with Tea Temptation. I probably would go with the Dubai uh, Riviera. Uh, yeah, Riri Era one more than I would the Tea Temptation. It just didn't wow me. But again, like I'm saying, it's not that they these are not great fragrances because they really are. I think that Viva Moore did an amazing job with them. I think that this uh, Discovery set, and I'm putting it back together. Discovery set is a wonderful way for you to get a touch of, you know, like a little small taste of all of them. Like myself, you'll find one that you truly do enjoy. It looks like this here. Again, I want to remind you, it does come with the um, note list. And it also gives you a gift card where you can get 50% or up to 50% off. So you buy one, it's 15%. You buy two, you get 25. You buy three of the cents, you get 35. You buy four of the cents, you get 45. And then, of course, if you buy all five, you'll get 50% off the whole order right so i did like that because once you figure out what you like you can at least get 15 percent off uh the one that you like so i did enjoy that this was actually a lot of fun um if you enjoy these type of videos and you would like me to continue to get some discovery sets where we can walk through them and kind of get our vibe of them before we leap out and purchase any new fragrances let me know that too I always love doing this with you. I appreciate you making it to the end of the video. So I'm going to bid you a wonderful night, a wonderful day. Whenever it was that you got to watch this video, all I ask is that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you will not miss any videos that I put out. I'll talk to you on the next video.